So Sonic Frontiers has been out for about half a year and the honeymoon phase seems to be over with this game. And I kind of want to talk about where I'm at currently with this game. If my opinions changed or if I feel the same. What do I think of the game currently? I still think that it is a really good game and it's fun to play. Yeah, after six months, it does get boring just running around the open world. But for me, update one has been something that has kept me going back to the game over and over again. And I blame photo mode for that. I still do at times enjoy running around the open world because Sonic controls really good in this game. Despite the fact that there's little to no momentum, it's still really satisfying to run around because Sonic controls are really tight and really precise and it's fun to perform air tricks. And possibly the momentum problem could be remedied in update two, which I talk about in this video here. The combat while flashy is really fun, especially on Oranos Island with the Master Ninja being one of, if not the best fight in the game. The Titans are always fun to go back to play. Listen, nothing will ever beat the first time I've experienced these back when the game first came out, the feeling of pure bliss I felt but I think that they just are still really fun to go back to and play. And I've already talked about this to, like, to absolute nausea. The, the, the spectacle and music is unmatched with any Sonic game in my opinion. Just amazing. Especially with the first three Titans. But playing this with max level is kind of boring because you can just absolutely decimate them. And the parry being 10 seconds long doesn't really help. And this applies to normal combat as well. But playing on lower levels is really fun and I enjoy it a lot. The first update added a lot of replay value as well. As I mentioned before, photo mode has been really fun just to mess around. I have maybe like 20 plus hours just messing around with photo mode, getting really cool shots here and there. And with the music player, not only does it add fan favorite songs to listen to in the overworld, but it's kind of like a scavenger hunt where you have to go find the music notes around the map to get songs you want. And their cyberspace battle rush challenges are really fun and add a little bit of challenge to the game. And I always have fun trying to beat my record. Now the story, it's not that special, man. Especially towards the get the end, it's really clear that they have asked it. What I'm most pissed about is with what I have dubbed Sonic's cyber cancer. When they are basically building up this whole game where Sonic's getting corrupted by the cyberspace trying to free his friends. When it overtakes him, Sonic's there like, oh, like a fucking robot, right? And they just cure it with the power of friendship. That, that was such a dumb thing. I hate it so much. What I do like about the story is the character interactions. Ian Flynn really shines. You can see where he was put into this game and what his job was. It is um, literally... Some of the best interaction and characterization of these characters in a long time. But well, my personal favorite has to be Sonic and Knuckles. Where they have like this brotherly relationship. And you can see how the relationship with each other evolved from like the beginning where they were like rivals and enemies. To now where they have like this brotherly bond with each other. Tails and Amy also. I I have a lot of people like, like not saying they don't like Tails' arc. But like it was kind of needed. I get it feels really forced but it was kind of needed to you know make his character better in other games and amy is really nice i really like amy's arc and cyberspace listen i have come to enjoy a lot of the stages to see how i can speed run them and how fast i can and there, listen there are a few stinkers here and there and i'm still really annoyed about the physics and how they changed them from the open world and the theme reuses but besides that i really enjoy speed running the cyberspace especially with the extreme times, with the added with update one, which is basically like th the times we should have gotten at launch, to like get, it's the S ranks are really hard with the extreme mode, and I really enjoy doing it. So, and one of the things that are really fun for me is the mods. The mods have, the, it's listen, it's what carried Sonic Generations to for like eleven years, and I feel like this game is gonna be carried by mods for the next twenty years. Oh, that's over exaggerating, but listen. It, the mods, I'm just impressed with... The, okay, bye-bye, Sonic. See you next time. The amount of mods that we have and the quality that we have in the, the past six months, I thought it would take maybe a year or two years to get the mods that we have now. Overall, my thoughts of the game still stand from where when I made my review back when it launched. So if you want to watch it, I'll link it in the description. Please don't watch it. It's really bad. It's, really, it's a really bad review. Don't Please don't watch it. Now... When they announced Frontiers, I said that this if this game was bad, 
that I would that would have been it for me. I would have been done with this franchise. If it weren't for this game being good, I would even be making videos right now. And I have, re listen, I have to give props to Sonic Team for actually pulling through and making this game fun. And I have researched this game a lot. I know the ins and outs. I know its development history. And I've kept up with the developers and Kishimoto. And I have to say, Sonic Team, y'all deserve way more respect than y'all are getting, okay? I guess I'll start off with one that a lot of people have been taking note of. Kishimoto. Kishimoto has set a precedent that I personally haven't seen with any other game director. Even, like, like attempt. Maybe, maybe, um, Nomura with the Final Fantasy series. But this is a whole nother level. He has responded to so much criticism and feedback to Sonic Frontiers that he can create three new games just from all the feedback that he's done. And it's not just simply, like, oh, thanks for that. I'll think about it. Oh, that was really cool. Go fuck yourself. A lot of his responses are fully thought out and he'd be like two or three tweets long. The whole reason that we're even getting the spin dash in the second update is because Kishimoto read and and took everyone's feedback into consideration. Now, the quality of this said spin dash is unknown, but it's not like he read all those tweets and spent all that time responding to them for nothing. I have faith in this guy. Even when the comments seem to be rude or mean to him, he responds and keeps things professional. I am really grateful that he's even taken the time out of his day to respond to these comments. And if he never did, I feel like we would probably have a completely different post launch for this game. Then we have the whole development of this game. All right, Sega, listen, Sega has an issue where even with their most prized franchises like Sonic or Yakuza, they do not want to give these developers time to make the game. Please just let them cook for God's sake, bro. This game was in con like the concept stages for two years because they wanted to get it right. There was so much pressure with this game to get it right that they spent two years just to like con bring up the concept of it. And even when they did come up with the concept, they only had three actual dev years, which wasn't enough. So the Go Izuka had to literally fight Sega to give them an another year to make the game. So that the, the fact that this game released and was met with positive reception from critics and fans at launch is nothing short of a miracle. Huge props to Sonic Team. And finally, the final reason why I have this newfound respect for Sonic Team is because they didn't listen to the fans. Now, this might sound weird. You may say, oh wait, isn't that the same as criticism? No. Criticism is saying, hey, this is really cool, or hey, this is kind of eh, here's how you can improve it. What the fans are doing is basically they were demanding things they were demanding we want this we want this they weren't saying hey maybe this could work like this or maybe this would be better if you just tweak this a little bit the past 11 years give or take it feels like sonic team's decisions have been based off what the fans want now if you know the sonic community we don't know what we want okay it is impossible it is such a melting pot of different sub fan groups and different like people who like this type of sonic and this type of play style and it is impossible to gauge what everyone wants. And that's the reason why Classic Sonic is even was even in forces. Now, I can't remember for the life of me where I heard this, but I'm sure the comments will let me know. I'm pretty sure Izuka mentioned that the reason why Modern and Classic were both in the game is because he wanted both Modern and Classic fans to be happy. But instead, we got two watered-down versions of both Classic and Modern Sonic, which made no one happy. With this game, I felt like Sonic Team were making the game that they wanted to make, not what the fans wanted. And I remember when the game was revealed and we saw some gameplay, yeah, it was rough, it was an early build, but people were going crazy, like, where's the momentum? Where's the spin dash? Where's this? Where's this? Izuka deadass had to go and say everyone to shut the fuck up because they don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. Like, okay, he didn't really say that, but basically what he was saying was, you guys don't understand what we're trying to make with this game. How about you actually look and pay attention? Listen, besides the fact, I haven't seen Izuka or Kishimoto this excited about a Sonic game in a long time. And it's because they wanted to make this. And this also aided with development because I will always say this. When you are making something you don't want to make, you're not going to put your best foot forward. With this, they wanted to make this game. They wanted to make it in their vision. And that's why I feel like there's so much effort put into it. Whether it's like this little touch of like effort and like passion put into it. So big respects to Sonic Team. Now, that's basically where I'm at with this game right now and where I'm at with Sonic Team. I kind of wanted to make this video, like, to recap where we're at right now with the game. 
and also because it looks like the honeymoon phase is over and it's it is very drastic it's like a people are like a lot of people are doing a complete 180 on this game saying that it was all oh, it was never good oh i should have done this i should have done that and i don't i don't really like to get into this type of discussion because i like to keep my like i don't like to really argue with people online because it just never leads to any, anything good because no one agrees to uh, about anything but if i had to you know say anything it's i feel like it's because he i, I don't want to say that people's expectations were way too high it's just that people want very specific things with the sonic with sonic in general because like i talked about before there's so much different subgroups and subsections of the Sonic for like Sonic community that people all there's people who want momentum and uh, adventure. There's people who like the boost. There's people who want to go back to only classic and classic only. And there's gonna be a group of people who see Frontiers and it they see that it doesn't cater to what they want and they're gonna not like it. So yeah, the game comes out. It's a open world game. Once they say, "Oh wait a minute, why isn't this classic Sonic?" or "Wait a minute, why isn't this adventure?" or "Why isn't this fully boost?" then they start to be like, "This is not what I want. This is a game automatically is bad." No, dumbass. It's not bad. It's just not what you want. It's a good game. I personally, when it comes to Sonic, I don't really have a preference. I like adventure games. I like boost games. I like classic games. I like them all pretty equally do i have pre like preferences which one i like more of course i like adventure more than i like sonic generations i'm not gonna say generations is bad i think sonic frontiers for what it is for what it is and what it's trying to do and for what it was able to accomplish it's a good game it's a great game i think and i feel like people are not getting that and i feel like people are just blindsided by the fact that it's not what they want and what they expected so yeah that's just that's just my take on it but that's all i wanted to say if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe turn notifications comment down below where you guys are at with sonic frontiers because i would like to gauge that for real though i'm done comment down below what you think where you guys are at with this game and until next time signing out i'll see you on the next one